Listen, I know I'm going to get a whole lot of backlash for what I'm about to say, girl. But I got to say, I got to help. Listen, Kevin Hunter, Wendy Williams Hunter, her ex-husband, we need you to come on home. Come on back home to Wendy, boy. Come home to Wendy. Because ever since you left her, for that younger woman, Wendy ain't been right since. Wendy has not been right now. We've heard stuff all these years about Wendy. But let me tell you, Kevin had her right. You know what I mean? She was showing up for the shows. And she was, um, what's the word? Functioning. <laughs> she was functioning. Wendy, girl, you were $40 million. Why you got all that money in Wells Fargo? Girl, why you got all that money in one bank that you cannot pay your mortgage? Somebody, please make it make sense to me, Wendy. Come on. I learned this lesson at, I was six months. <laughs> six months, maybe one. Maybe two, when my grandmother said, I'm not going to tell y'all my family name because y'all haven't been right to me lately, but that's okay. So Janice, do not put all of your eggs in one basket. Okay, and we raised chickens when I was a little girl. My window's open. We raised chickens, and so me, my grandmother, and my brother would go to the chicken coop and get the eggs in the mornings. And my grandmother would say, do not put all your eggs in one basket, because if one basket fall, girl, all the eggs going to break, and you're not going to have no eggs. We're not going to have no eggs with, with, for no breakfast. So, Wendy, please tell me, why, girl, why you got all that money in one bag, girl? Didn't anybody tell you don't put all your money in one? I just, you know what bugs me? She can't pay her primary bills. That is messed up. When you got all this money and you can't pay your primary bills, which I'm sure is on order pay, her mortgage, her car note, her, 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 her alimony to the ex-husband that left her for the younger woman that had a baby on her. Uh-huh. To me... That's just like, that's, that's puzzling, especially when it's primary bills that come out every month. Anyway, did I say how y'all doing? How you doing, girl? Happy, happy, happy Monday. Welcome. Thumbs up. Please subscribe. I, girl, I got home and got in the bed and I was going to try to go live, but I just can't, girl. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm eating ice cream. I got my Valentine's stuff and I'm going to bed. Girl, I'm disturbed. So now it's coming out that it's the people who are over the Wendy Williams show who is being dirty, okay? They're being dirty towards her because they want her to come back to the show. I've been reading a lot, okay? I've been reading a lot. So this financial advisor, former, former, former financial advisor is list the bank Wells Fargo <clears throat> is listening to this former financial advisor who is listening to Wendy's production company oh you know she needs to come back to the show and show that she's of sound mind for lack of a better word and so they freeze everything but that's beyond the point. I just want to know, Wendy, why, girl, why you got all that money in one bank that you cannot pay your primary bills? I could understand if you're about to go buy a house, you're about to go buy a car, whatever. I could understand. If if, if that was the situation where this Wendy was trying to buy a house and the bank frees her assets because they're not sure somebody's taking advantage of her, I could understand. I'm not going to lie. I could understand, right? I really could understand, but her primary bills, your light bill, your water, you not being able to access your account, not being able to look, log in and look in your bank account to make sure this financial advisor and your production company is not spending your money behind your back. But again, Wendy, girl, why you got all that money? I just, I, I, 
I just cannot understand it. Do y'all only have one bank account? Ain't no way. There is no way. There is no way. Let me tell you, I got one before I got married. Okay. Then me and Mike, we have a joint account that pay the bills. None of my money go in there. That's the house account. My husband pays all of her bills. Okay. <coughs> then <coughs> we have a joint savings account. Then we have and our savings for our emergency account. Then we have an investment account. The, all the money that goes in there goes towards our investments. Okay. Then, of course, you know, you have your investments account, your Roth IRA, your 401k, 457. You think I'm going to have all my money in one bank account? So if they decided to be tricky and nasty, I can't. I can't go buy me no ice cream, girl. No, <clears throat> ain't no way. Ain't no. You know what this remind me of? I was coming home. You know what this remind me of? Sharecropping days, right? <clears throat> Remember, in the sharecropping days when our ancestors got out of slavery, but basically they were only free on paper. Okay, because they were still slaving in the fields, sharecropping, and and. And those that be the masters made it so they, most of them never, ever got out of poverty, got out of shame. That's what it reminds me. And when they couldn't read, remember when they couldn't read and you're trusting that this person has your best interest at heart and you're believing what they're saying. You're saying, shall I sign here, sign the X on the paper. Girl, come to find out you don't sign the way your life. Why, Wendy, who advised you to put one person over your financial business? Let me tell you what my godmother did. My godmother is 98 next, next month, March. She'll be 98. I wish I could go see her. <clears throat> she got one person over her. She has two people over her finances. <clears throat> One person over her health, so make health decisions for her. She has another person to make sure things go the way it needs to go. When I and when I go see her, you know, I can help to make whatever decisions I need to help make for her. Like the last time I went to see her, she pulled her her thing out, and I just took her to the call the ambulance, went to the hospital, signed all her stuff for her. But to have one person over all your business, I don't think so. There is no way, ma'am. There is no way. Even with me and my husband making planning for our lives and for our future. And God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. I pray daily, long life, blessed life, happy life, satisfied life, wealthy life. We're going to be here to see our children grow up and get married and have kids. <clears throat> but even in us planning our lives, we make sure there is more than one person who can make decisions for us. Because remember, how many how many of you remember back in the days, right? I'm talking, I'm 44. So let's say 20 years ago when people of color, especially in the church, did not know enough about financial education and financial advising and all of that stuff. And there were parents who would leave pastors over their money and I know somebody this happened to. <clears throat> and the parents died and the pastors and his wife and the church will spend the money. So when the kid got old enough to get to car, there was no money. And so that's why, ladies and gentlemen, mom, is that you need to have trust fund for your kids. Because in the event you are not here or you are not able to make decisions for yourself, you have people that you trust with your life. You can't put one person over it. <clears throat> I told you guys in my other video, check out the video I did on my allegedly Janice. When my daughter, my daughter Lexi, Lexi is classified from the time she was, you know, 18 months, basically two and a half. She's a special needs uh, young lady uh, and her disability is cognitive impairment. And when she was 18 years old, I had to go to court in front of a judge 
to get legal guardianship over my own child. Okay, the state gave her three lawyers because they wanted to make sure that her needs are being met, that I'm not trying to take control, take advantage of her, and that all of her rights are not being violated. I didn't have a lawyer. I couldn't afford a lawyer. So I went to the judge before the judge myself, and her and the three lawyers sat over there, and I was over here by myself. I think me and Mike was dating, maybe engaged. <clears throat> I think we were engaged. We were engaged at that time. Because the judge, they wanted to stay, want to make sure that her rights are not violated. <clears throat> and you're not just asking for guardianship over her because you want to take advantage of her. But she's really incapable of making those, those decisions for herself. And let me tell you, I'm not, <clears throat> even though I have legal guardianship over her, if I tell her to do something and she don't want to do it and she tell her state representative that my mother wanted me to do this and I don't want to do it, guess what? It's what she wants. <clears throat> okay, I read her state representative that we call the support coordinator going to call me, girl. She going to call me and say, oh, I went to Alexis' program. And they show up at the day programs, girl. You don't know when they're going to show up. That's why you got to make sure they're clean. They're smelling good. They check the lunch. Let me see what you have for lunch today. Okay. And her state rep is going to call me, the mama, okay, that takes care of her and wash her <laughs> and comb her hair and brush her teeth for her sometimes. It's going to call me <laughs> and tell me, Miss Thompson, Miss Hilton Thompson, Alexia said she wanted to get tips and um, you told her no. If she wants to get tips, she can go get tips. And I had to explain to the state rep, it's not that she cannot get tips. It's just that she's been getting it from this date to this day. And I told her, take a break. Give your nails a break so you don't have to keep on getting tips. You let your nails breathe. You could get the gel or just take a break. And then maybe next month or something, then you can go back and get tips. And then the state rep says, well, okay. <laughs> she goes out shopping. She says, oh, well, I want to have that jacket um, for $200. Oh, you can't have that. Miss Miss Hilton, um, Alexia said she wanted to have this jacket for $200 and you told her she can't have it. That has never happened. The only time the state rep called me was about the nails. <clears throat> so you can't just be trusting one person over your stuff. I'm sorry. It, it this 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 has really boggled my mind. It's just really, really crazy how the production company is really behind all these stories we've been hearing. You know, she was playing with herself allegedly and, and, and the ratings are going down. And so they're doing all these things to try to get Wendy to come back to the show to get the ratings up. And so these are all the little things they are doing to get underneath her skin so she can come back. So you see, they don't even care about your health. They don't care about your mental health. All they care about is the money they can make on you. But I just want to know, girl, do y'all have all your money in one account? If you have it in one account, go take it. Take it out today. Go take it out today. May I tell you to go to money to the bank today? <laughs> okay. Can you imagine? What she got $40,000 in the ain't no investments? Granted, you know, she's not getting the penny interest we're getting. She's getting lots and lots of money of interest, but I just, I can't, girl. I can't. They said Wendy can't pay her mortgage. To me, that's like, Jesus. I wonder if she got credit cards. Maybe she would use her credit cards. But if you have $40 million, why should you wear, use credit cards? Anyways, I got to go, girl. I got to go. I'm going. Let me know what y'all think. This is terrible. I just can't believe that. Anyways, babes. <clears throat> I want to know what y'all think. 
I love you. I love you. I love. I'm going to bed. It's 5 30. <laughs> Love you. Oh, thank you for those of you who have picked up my new book. Thank you for the reviews. <clears throat> if you've gotten it, please send me a glowing five-star review on Amazon. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.